So I joke, okay, what's the secret? So here's, here's the secret, okay? When you see me address it, how's my face look? Pretty square? Okay. It, it, it's what I call preloaded. So if I was to relax, it would really look like this. Very shut, agreed? Okay. Now that is square if I'm unwound a little bit. A golf club, guys, I can't sit it on a tabletop. It's always going to flop toe, you know, one way or the other, fair? But if it's here and I'm going toward a ball, which way does the face want to go every time? Open. Why is everybody that ever picked up their club the first time usually a slicer? Usually, right? Because they grip it for comfort. They load it. The face opens because it wants to fan open because the way that some guy made these years ago. Carson Solheim, the guy from Pink, says, I would have never designed golf clubs like this because they torque so much. But this is what I have to deal with. That's it. So we've learned how to counter that torque. And the torque is all we, it's what we fight. We fight the weight of the club and we fight the torque it puts on us. And people fight torque different ways. Weak, shitty grips, people torque like crazy to square it with a trail hand. Better players tend to address the fact that torque's gonna happen by having a, what's called a conventional grip and a preloaded left arm. So this right here, Bob, is really that if I relaxed, okay? But I aim in, I aim this face and I take a look. Now as I, you know, energize this, I could blow it by doing all kinds of things. We're just trying to organize, right? So there's me having a reasonable backswing. And now I'm actually in a place that is, you know, not even close to where I started because I'm kind of managing this torque. So I asked, I asked people, what, what does really square look like? If I relaxed a crap grip, square looks like this. And that's why you see some golfers kind of do this eventually, just because they try to figure it out. And if they get any good, they learn how to do this. And they learn how to outrun a face that's too shut. Do you see what I, you know, I hit a little pull there, but do you see where it started? Way left. Why did it go pretty straight? Because I outran it with my weight on my left side and my pivot opening up. You tracking? Okay. Newbies all start like this and play wappity do with their hands this way. Good players that eventually get good are basically outrunning the expansion. This thing's gonna flee no matter what. It's gonna shoot. I could let it go. I don't have to try to throw it. I could just hold this like a zombie and the club's gonna expand and go. Always will, okay? So, resisting, like kind of learning how to, so okay, here's this club up here. When I, when I move, it's always gonna to wanna to spin, always. That's why I'm such a stickler, guys, for preloading this, you know, getting this arm in a position where real square is here when I'm side bent and I'm, and I'm at impact because that's what a good player is gonna kinda of look like, okay? They set up here, the club doesn't wanna change direction when we go to hit it, it fights it, we expand. You know, the outcome's a pretty good one of this thing trying to flee, but if I haven't made accommodations for how it's gonna to wanna to move into here, and everybody's a little different, you know, these clubs might wanna draw a bit more, I might make a little tweak, but you see why, if you grip it for comfort, we're dead in the water. We can play golf, maybe even break 90 if you're crafty, but we can't really do that easy power of expansion unless we kind of learn how to get our hands on right and let this lever and let ourselves be in position for expansion to be in the correct spot. That's the secret. What's it mean to you? I don't know. You see my point? But you see the importance of why we grip it the way we grip it? Because we're fighting the torque and force the club's gonna play on us. And I, I don't wanna torque and force it all day and tear the grips up and not hit it very far and slice it. I set, I set myself up so I can create leverage, expand it, and have decent outcomes for my physicality, right? And you just had Mike hit it 212 down there, which I believe, I think is utter bullshit. I'm gonna check my machine. So you see where I'm saying that? So come on in here for a second. All right, crew, if you're not with Martin, let's go to lunch, 1240. Is it? Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll be one minute. Yep. Step in there for a sec. Yep. That's why there's a bent back, aim your elbow. See, his first instinct was to do this, wasn't it? You saw it. That's not aiming an elbow, is it? That, that's, that's volleyball bump. 
aim your elbow, right? So now I'm going to turn this all in the radius. You just did it fine. And maybe you got to practice that for a little bit. And then put your thumbprint right on the top right quadrant, which is one o'clock. Good. Now your left arm's kind of preloaded. Good. Put your right hand on. Okay. Gently and support your left. It doesn't have to twist over the top. It just pairs to the left. Good. Set the club behind the ball, please. Okay. Flare your feet a little bit. Take a look where you're going. I'm going to get out of the way. Go ahead and hit one or miss one. I like how you're set up. You look great. Okay. So you delivered a face that was too close for a path. Ball went low and hooked. Agreed? Mm -hmm. You saw that, guys? Okay. So if I never get off my right foot, I'm probably going to deliver a face that's going to be too close for the path. If I am moving more to my, if I'm transporting this a little, see how that rate of closure changes where, how it would hit a ball? If I'm back here, I have no choice but have rate of closure that's going to hit low hooks. Okay, so all this is is an expansion of maybe what you know and what you don't. That little exercise of you kind of going, okay, well, gosh, I'm going to hit that damn thing. Yeah, but not if you go up and then go this way a little. You see what you were doing there, Andrew? Up, onto, strike rather than most people try to fight and help it up back up and they're dead. Okay, let's go have lunch, boys. I don't know who's in the church.